Now, guys, when it comes to company failures, I don't think we've ever seen anything like Bud Light. Bud Light was brought down by one person who didn't even work for the company. I'm talking about Dylan Mulvaney. And there's been uh, other companies, you know, go under for different reasons, you know, like Kmart, you know, but that was more like economic reasons and, you know, times changing, that kind of thing. But this whole Dylan Mulvaney thing, this is on a whole nother level, guys. In a two month span, Bud Light dropped from being the number one seller of beer in the United States, lost that spot, gone instantly. We've never seen anything like this, folks. We haven't. A partnership with Dylan Mulvaney was the death nail for the company. I don't think this company's ever going to come back. I don't think so. We're in very, very unique territory, folks. Nobody wants to be seen with a Bud Light. And apparently now, you know, Dylan Mulvaney, by the way, when Dylan Mulvaney showed up at the White House for Joe Biden, I didn't even know who Dylan Mulvaney was. I mean, Dylan Mulvaney just kind of popped out of nowhere. To tell you the truth, why is Dylan Mulvaney at the White House with Joe Biden? Well, we all know it was a virtue signal. Dylan Mulvaney, biological male, wants to identify as trans, gets invited to the White House. Nothing more in the story right there. But Bud Light, they made a drastic, terrible mistake that they have not recovered from. And all these other companies, it's called the Bud Light Effect. All these other companies at the Bud Light, they got woke. They're getting crushed. Target, Kohl's. And there's some other ones, too, I can't think of off the top of my head. But that, those are the big ones right there. Bud Light and Target mainly. Kohl's to a lesser extent. Well, guys, guess what? Since Dylan Mulvaney has already destroyed Bud Light. Check this out. Dylan Mulvaney is not backing down. Look at this article here on the Daily Wire. Dylan Mulvaney urges more brands to partner with trans people even after Bud Light debacle. Yeah. In other words, Dylan Mulvaney wants uh, other companies to destroy themselves. Big mistake. Big mistake. I don't think you're going to see companies really doing this. And I said before, guys, when uh, Pride Month um, 2024 comes around, I don't think you're going to see the wokeness on this level like you have this year. I believe that more people are becoming aware, more people are actually waking up. And there's probably going to be some uh, changes. I mean, there's been pride parades before in other years. But this year, there has been a heightened awareness because of this one person right here, Dylan Mulvaney. Let's read this, guys. Transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney said in an interview published Tuesday that more brands should partner with trans influencers Even after the Bud Light debacle, which led to a boycott and declining sales. Yeah, sales down like 30 percent. Yeah, that's that's people that's going to lose their jobs over there at Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light. I believe that on the president of uh, Bud Light, I believe he's on the time clock right now. The clock is ticking on him. But. This is what uh, Dylan Mulvaney actually had to say, quote, I am one of, if not the. Most privileged trans person in this country right now. I don't want people to look at me and say, oh, yeah, the community's all right. The activist said during an interview with them, expressing interest in getting other trans people into the spotlight. Rather than acknowledging any negative impact on the Bud Light brand, Mulvaney said companies should be trying to partner with trans identified individuals for ad campaigns. Quote, for a long time, I felt so lucky that these opportunities were coming my way that I thought it was by accident. But now I realize how much power I actually have. Mulvaney told the outlet. Quote, if a brand wants to work with me so bad, then they should work with other trans people too. It's not enough to to just hire me. This white, skinny, Trans girl. okay. I want all the dolls getting all the brand deals. Wow. So Dylan Mulvaney is not backing down here, folks. He actually wants companies to double down on the wokeness. And pretty much, I guess, go out of business like Bud Light. 
Now, Dylan Mulvaney is a different kind of person as far as, you know, being very, very controversial, guys. Dylan Mulvaney is on a whole nother level. I mean, Dylan Mulvaney is a TikToker, 10 million followers. And the primary audience of Dylan Mulvaney is um, children. So that makes me scratch my head even more so when it comes to uh, Bud Light. Why are you getting Dylan Mulvaney to uh, put videos on TikTok with Bud Light for people that can't drink legally? I mean, kids, let's just be real, man. The majority of people that use TikTok is like what? Teenagers, probably below that. I don't have a TikTok account. That's not me. Honestly, I don't know any of my adult friends that have TikTok. Just don't know. You know, maybe some people like to have it for business, but just for their own personal pleasure. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I mean, is Dylan Mulvaney blind? I mean, does Dylan Mulvaney not understand what's actually going on with Bud Light? That company is on the edge of collapsing because of a partnership with you. And now you want these other companies to actually go out there and uh, double down. Well, why don't we do this? Since Target wants to be woke, why don't they actually get on Dylan Mulvaney to be a spokesperson for Target? You know, since they have they love their pride section right there. And by the way, the LGBT community is not happy with Target right now because Target actually um, downsized their um, the alphabet stuff, the tough friendly stuff. I don't know if that was actually some of the stuff they removed. I don't know. But like I said before in my previous video, guys, um, if all of that stuff that uh, Target was um, selling, if it truly was going to sell, they wouldn't have pulled it. Like I said, what kind of market is really, really out there for tuck friendly stuff? How many of those um, swimsuits would they have actually sold in a year? Well, in a month, let's go with a month. Probably one. Probably. I mean, who's actually out there buying um, pride gear for kids? Target, go and go and sign on Dylan Mulvaney. Go and do it. Some other people, too. I mean, it's amazing, guys, how Dylan Mulvaney had all of these opportunities out there. I mean, on the Drew Barrymore show and Drew Barrymore embarrassed herself getting on her knees and like worshiping at the feet of Dylan Mulvaney. It was disgusting. I don't think I've ever seen something that cringe in my lifetime. And make no mistake about it, guys, it was very, very cringe. Dylan Mulvaney wants all these other companies to get down, get super woke and destroy themselves. The Bud Light effect is real. So if there's a company out there that actually wants to go and do this. Go ahead. Go right ahead. You're just going to have to learn the hard way, guys. You're going to have to learn the hard way. We're only what? What, what is today? Today is uh, June the 8th right now. June 8th. I'm wondering what the rest of Pride Monday is actually going to be like. And as far as, you know, Target goes, by the way, I don't think they've actually brought back all, all of that stuff that they had. I don't think they've actually moved that stuff back to the front of the store, even though they actually had like 200 um, LGBT groups out there giving demands. I don't think they did that. Yeah, Target thought that Virtue Signal wasn't going to hurt them that much. Now it's really hurt them. That validation is down billions of dollars, billions. It's the same with Anheuser-Busch. I mean, Bud Light on a dollar value. They've lost like 25 percent in a dollar value from last year. And that is the effect of actually partnering with Dylan Mulvaney. I mean, companies before they do stuff like this, they actually better step back and say, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The Bud Light effect is real. If we actually go out there and do this, we're probably going to lose money. It's not a good business move at all. But I believe there's other companies that will probably do it. They probably are. There's probably some other companies, probably some well, well-known companies. Nike. Remember Dylan Mulvaney actually um, did a Nike ad as well. Maybe Nike is actually going to go out there and um, do, it, do some other stuff. Sports Illustrated, same thing. But who's actually out there really buying Sports Illustrated magazines? I mean, Sports Illustrated was geared towards men in sports. 
It was supposed to have beautiful women on the cover inside the magazine. Now they actually got a biological male. That's probably a hard turnoff for many, many men out there. Let's just be real. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.